now, y benvenuto. I'm Evan and this is Texas Motorbike Adventures. So it's a nice uh, summer Texas day today. Probably end up being like 94, something like that. Feels like 98, one of those deals. Humidity's okay. Got a little bit of rain earlier in the week, a little tiny bit, but every little bit helps. So today I'm going to a town called Cisco. And uh, of course there was some railroad involved, which is why it got there. They uh, were part of the oil boom in the 1920s. In 1893, actually, a tornado came through and pretty much destroyed the entire town. An F4 tornado uh, wiped it off the map, destroyed like 500 buildings, killed 28 people. Pretty wild. Uh, Conrad Hilton started his first hotel there. He went to go buy a bank, and the bank was too expensive, so he bought the hotel instead. And so there's a Hilton. The address that the courthouse sits on is like Hilton, Conrad Hilton Avenue, so uh, it's right there <laughs> in Cisco, and it's a hundred miles from here. Go through Mineral Wells and Palo Pinto all the way up to Breckenridge, and then cut south from Breckenridge, and uh, it's pretty nice. It's all uh, you know, farm back roads and stuff, two laners and everything like that. But it's cool, hilly, and Palo Pinto is really nice. I love it out there. So, but uh, it's called Cisco, C-I-S-C-O, Texas. And they also have, at one time, uh, not anymore, but it's still there. You can see it on satellite. They had the largest concrete swimming pool in the world that they had built. This thing's gigantic. You ought to see it. So I think there's a place where I can get over and overlook it because it's still there. They used to have a little zoo and an arcade type thing and everything. It was a pretty big draw for a long time. Uh, but it's just gone back to nature right now. But you can still see that concrete tub down there. It's pretty huge. Uh, so anyways, okay. Well, I'm going to go and uh, keep the rubber down. Ciao. Cisco, Texas is at the intersection of U.S. Highway 183 and Interstate 20 in northwestern Eastland County. Traces its history back to 1878 or 1879 when the Reverend C.G. Stevens arrived in the area, established a post office and a church, and called the frontier settlement Red Gap. About six families were already living nearby and W.T. Caldwell was running a store a half mile to the west. In 1881, the Houston and Texas Central Railway crossed the Texas and Pacific, which had come through the year before, at a point near Red Gap, and the settlement's inhabitants moved their town to the crossing. The date the rails crossed, May 17, 1881, is recognized by some to be Cisco's birthday. Three years later, the town was officially recognized and a new post office granted. The town's name was changed to Cisco for John A. Cisco, a New York financier, largely responsible for the building of the Houston and Texas Central. Railroads continued to influence the development of Cisco as the Texas and Pacific acquired lots in the town and sold them to immigrants attracted by brochures touting the town as the Gate City of the West. Once settlers arrived, agricultural agents employed by the railroad advised them what and when to plant and on occasion provided the seeds. During the 1880s, a Mrs. Hawes built and managed the first hotel, and Mrs. J.D. Alexander brought the first millinery and fancy goods to town. Following a practice common at the time, religious groups in Cisco met together for prayer meetings in the schoolhouse until they could build separate churches. By 1892, Cisco was a growing community with two newspapers, a bank, and an economy based on trade, ranching, fruit farming, and limestone, coal, and iron ore available nearby. A broom factory and roller corn and flour mills were among the town's 56 businesses. At 8 p.m. on Friday, April 28, 1893, an F-4 tornado struck the center of the business district of Cisco, killing 28 people and destroying or severely damaging every building in town. The city hall, every church and school, and an estimated 500 homes were destroyed. Conrad Hilton started the Hilton Hotel chain with the single hotel bought in Cisco. 
Hilton came to Cisco to buy a bank, but the bank cost too much, so he purchased the Mobley Hotel in 1919. The hotel is now a local museum and community center. During the 1920s, Cisco, like nearby Ranger, Eastland, and Desdemona, was a petroleum boomtown. Although Cisco played a relatively minor role in the Eastland County oil boom of 1919 to 1921, its population grew rapidly at the time, with some estimates as high as 15,000 in the wake of the boom. Cisco adopted a city charter and built a new railroad station that cost $25,000, a value of approximately $311,000 in 2015 money. In 1925, the first annual meeting of the West Texas Historical Association was held in Cisco. The association, formed in 1924, was then based at Hardin-Simmons University in Abilene, but moved in 1998 to Texas Tech University in Lubbock. The Santa Claus bank robbery occurred in Cisco on December 23, 1927, when Marshall Ratliff and his gang attempted to rob the First National Bank. As of August 2009, the bank site is occupied by an auto parts store, now closed, with the Texas Historical Commission sign commemorating the event. On May 9, 2015, an area just south of the city was hit by a large tornado, destroying several homes, killing one person, and critically injuring one more. Okay, so this behind me is the Mobley Hotel, and this is the uh, hotel that Conrad Hilton bought. He came here to buy a bank. The bank was too expensive, so he bought this building behind us instead, the Mobley. And this became the first in the chain of the Hilton uh, hotels, and you know how that ended up. But uh, this is it right here. Cisco Chamber of Commerce is here, and this is, uh, you know, probably... Just different kinds of things. They got veterans parking and a couple things like that over here. So uh, this is Cisco. Not a whole lot going on. It's a little small Texas town. But anyways, this is the uh, Mobley Hotel. First hotel bought by Conrad Hilton. All right. <laughs> So this is the first national bank in Cisco, and this is where the, uh, I guess, the infamous Santa Claus bank robbery happened in December 23rd, 1927. It says, during Christmas festivities, costumed Santa and three fellow bandits looted this bank of $12,200 in cash, $150,000 in securities. They escaped through a gun battle with two little girls as hostages, so a three-day manhunt followed. Children and money were recovered, the robbers captured, six persons were killed, eight injured. Later, a mob lynched Santa when he broke out of jail. Nuts. So this is the building right here, and it's like it turned into an auto parts store for a while, but it's a historical uh, spot, I guess. We're crazy, got a little thing there, but there's nothing going on inside. They used to do what it looks like as a uh, bank robbery like productions. So they would do uh, a show here and do the bank robbery thing. But this is it. They got <laughs> now it's just full of junk, a bunch of suitcases and other stuff. But there's the vault in the back. You can see that. Anyway, I'll shoot some pictures of it. But uh, yeah, this is where the Santa Claus bank robbery happened, December 23rd, 1927. So here it is, Cisco, crazy.
Okay, I uh, found it. It's the, at the time, world's largest concrete pool. So you can see over there, all of the side of it and everything. See that? Try to make my way around a little bit, but you can get up on top of this causeway that goes where the lake is over on that side. And I think you can see it better, but if you look over there, there's like swing set, some kind of something hanging out over there, if y'all can see it. Right there, a little swing set action and everything. So, yeah, this is it. The largest concrete pool in the world at one time. Crazy. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get a better view. Cisco in its early days was plagued with an inadequate water supply. In the 1920s, the Williamson Dam was built north of town, resulting in the formation of Lake Cisco. The dam was named after James Milton Williamson, longtime mayor and survivor of the 1893 tornado. At its base was built what was billed as the largest concrete swimming pool in the world. The complex boasted a two-story building with a skating rink upstairs, a zoo, an amusement park with rides, and a park. Bob Willis was only one of the celebrities to entertain there. For decades, it was a major attraction for folks from miles around. The hollow dam was at one time open to the public, but this is no longer the case. The pool closed in the 1970s, and the vacant skating ring burned a few years later.